right, so I'm trying to make my way down the road with my wheelchair again. to vlog because <laughs> as you guys know I messed up my leg yesterday what you don't know I don't think you know because I haven't edited the vlog that's already up just yet if that makes sense um, I broke my toe last night I stubbed my toe and just like any other person who stubs a toe it hurts and then it goes away fairly fast the pain my pain did not go away it was there and bending it was hard which is not normal either while I was laying down, I tried to go to bed. I couldn't move it. Putting pressure on it to like lift my body to like turn around was painful. Woke up this morning and <laughs> I was like, why is my foot hurt so bad? And I was like, oh my God, I stubbed my toe. I think I broke it. Yeah, it's swollen and it's black and blue. So it's at least fractured, which is still broken. So I guess since I wanted to tell you guys that, I'm gonna vlog. I'm also setting up everything for my infusion, um, well, it used to be access, ID access last night, the heck, um, and uh, like I said, once I switched my companies, the very first day I switched and they came, she basically had me access, she didn't teach me anything, she just told me if I was doing anything wrong, she was able to tell that I knew a lot, she goes, you don't seem like you need, like, to be told for everything, I was like, nope, if I do anything wrong, stop me, of course. And then after that one time, I've done everything myself without her trying to stop me. So I basically kept telling myself how to do everything. So I'm hoping that today when she comes in, I'm not even going to go, all right, I'm going to start. I'm just going to do it and watch her watch me go. Wow. Okay. Um, and I'm going to make sure that she sees that I've learned my own way of doing things in my head. And then eventually the more I do it, the more I will go, okay, I like this way better. But she should be here any minute, and I'm hoping that I can just say, what do you guys think? Like, do you have to come more? Because I'm ready to just be able to do it on my own. Because next week, or the week after next, is Gay Pride Weekend, and I'd like to go in the water and then reaccess. so. If you start just holding the wings like this. <laughs> okay. And this, so when this piece separates from this gray piece, that's how you activate the safety on this one. That's really, sorry, this is well. <laughs> mm. Well, they've done a lot with your site today. Yeah, it's all sore. Feels like my toe. That's why I don't want to miss. <laughs> So the nurse just left. Um, first time I tried, I think I hit the hard plastic, took it out. Second time, I got it in, but I separated the needle from like the, the back part of it, took it out. Third time, I also separated and I hit the plastic part of the port. Um, so then I was like, you know what, I'm giving up. Like, I really am pissed off. So she did the fourth one and got it in. So we went through four needles, which is crazy because I can't find any of them. So needle one. Okay, I don't know why this is not working, but there's actually two needles here. It looks like they're both stuck. Oh, there it is. Needle two, needle three. And needle four that she got in. So much junk. So much. And it goes under here as well. This is beyond ridiculous. Time to buddy tape my toes together.
because having to do this, I have to bend this leg and it's still very bruised, um, but definitely not as painful. It's more doable to bend. Not the right kind of tape, I get that, but it's what we have. I hate that they're short right there. So I'm sitting here on the steps where I've fallen <laughs> and I'm debating on if I want to take my wheelchair outside. Um, I don't feel comfortable walking because of the heat. It's 92 degrees today or 95 plus both my legs are, well, crap. Um, or just take my car, but that's gas, and I don't know <laughs> what I want to do. I kind of think I want to take the chair out. I don't know. I'm, I'm just sitting here. My dad took the dogs to the park because if I take the dogs to the park, it's just to the dog park, let them run around, and I come home. He wants to, like, explore, and since Gizmo's a puller, he's like, I'm going to take the dogs to the park, get their energy out, and then he's going to go for, like, an actual walk. So he's gonna be going for a few hours. And so we're gonna wait to paint till later tonight for the first time instead of in the morning. This is how I go down the hill with my chair. This is really painful because I'm putting a lot of pressure on my feet. Um, as you guys know, I live in a very, very high hill and the chair going down is not an option. Going up with the motor, it actually works. Or I just walk it up, but I think I've got control of going up the hill with the motor and now I'm down and everything worked but that's how I do it I just hold on to the handle that's here to get myself down so I'm really debating on what to do I got down my hill my house is that's my driveway like I think right there and I'm at the end of the driveway obviously across the street and I realized the one thing I told myself not to forget is my gloves and without gloves, it's really hard. It's really hard on your hands. And if my foot didn't hurt, I'd make the way back up the hill and walk up the hill and get my gloves. And typically the gloves are on the thing that I was holding, but I think the gloves, for whatever reason, are, they're not on there. I think they're in my car. So now I'm like, do I go up there and know I'm gonna be hurting my feet or just suck it up? And make my way down here on a dirt road knowing that I'm going to be able to I'm gonna need to stop a lot oh this is so irritating I swear I can't get a break the last two days oh shit so I decided I'm just gonna take it as is and hope I don't kill my hands and then I realized that I only have one sidebar this thing and I don't know where the other one is so because I haven't used it in forever it's like the whole thing it's missing pieces annoying this shit is crazy because I have, I'm, you know, I'm trying to stay in the middle where it's a little bit more balanced, not balanced, straight. I can't speak right now. See, my, my wheels go to the right. It's like a fucking car, man. Look at this. All the way to the right. And to do that, I have to, oh, now I'm stopping. Oh, God. I almost fell. So... I obviously got to the end of the dirt road, which is right there, and um, I've been where I'm at here for the past couple hours, and I'm making my way back home, and I gotta get my wheelchair down these stairs. They have a walkway behind me, but it's out the way. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to make my way down the road with my wheelchair. Again, dirt road slowly. It's not easy. One, because you have to stop a lot and it hurts your hands because it turns to the right. And being that the, um, what do you call it? Like the watch thing is on my left hand any kind of movement typically will stop it. Um, but I'm going to the right, so it's on the wrong hand. Because <laughs> I'm going to the right and you have to use your left hand to push left. 
All right, now I'm gonna go even. So that's what's happening here. All right, I'm actually doing fairly good. Sometimes if I'm on a straight path, like right now, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> so here's my driveway. I'm going to go up it and you guys are not gonna hear me because it's me muffled, maybe not, but I'm going to put this between my legs. It did not work this time at all. And that's really because the machine, oh shit, stopped working, which is unfortunate. And I'm gonna have to put this down because my foot's broken and this is a lot of pain right now. girl is so gorgeous. I love her so much. She said I think about All right, obviously I'm on a bike with my friend. I just put my leg on the engine. Wow, is that shit hot. Nightmare! 